I'm here in Denver with 2013 world champion Prezian Vazilev. I said that right, didn't I? Yes, I, I agree. So. I was in the second row when he won the world championship in Cincinnati, my hometown. My question for you, Prez, is this. You have the shortest world championship speech in history. You just told me 488 words. Yes. Okay. How do you get a world-class speech shortened to that few words and still have an impactful message? Great. Well, as you see, my biggest challenge was the language. English is my second language. Yeah. So when I talk fast, you can barely understand me, right? Yeah. So I had to slow down. And I also had a lot of humor in my speech. Yes, you so did. So I had to do more with less because when you speak slower, you have only a certain number of words. But I discovered that less is more because it gave me the power of pauses. Yes. And that's the most, the magic of the pause. When you slow down, your words are more powerful, more emphatic. And you also, when you have those pauses for the audience to react, to react to their reactions, to be present, to be more enjoyable, it's really powerful. It also set me free because you can remember 489 words easier, right? Yeah. 489, not 489. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 489. <laughs> it's hard to do 489. 88 or 89, <laughs> no, come on. 489, right? But when you remember that, it sets you so much free because I'm present with the audience and I'm not really thinking about 1,000 words or 800 words in a big contest. What's the next line? Oh, I don't want to mess up the next line. No, I'm very present with the audience because I have only a few words to memorize and remember and internalize and I just go there. My suggestion is to cut every unnecessary word and question every word. I would go, I had a script always. You yeah. need to write it word sure. for word. You yeah. got to have the best words in the best order. And you go through the speech, and then you question every word and try to eliminate it, see what it happens. Absolutely. And just to give you context, the average speech of seven minutes is around 700 to 800 words. Correct. So you were about 60% roughly, or 65, and got your message. And I was Correct. in the audience. Prez was the last speaker that day. We were kind of wondering before he spoke who was going to win. As soon as he was done, contest was over. Give him the trophy. Let's go home. <laughs> it was so great. Yes. So, one last question for you. How sure. many times do you think you practice your final speech? Oh, I practice it hundreds of times. I went to 55 clubs to just get feedback. I had to go to different states, drive to different states to get feedback. I was really immersed in the experience and you never know where you get a good idea. Absolutely. So visit any club, maybe it's only three, four people that they don't underestimate the setting by the number of people. Absolutely. I got some of the best ideas in small settings and even guests. People yeah. who are oh, not yeah. in Toastmasters yeah. Yeah. in the organization. Sure. Sure. Even guests because they have fresh eyes and mind. Yeah. Well, they Did represent you... the audience that we're talking to. So Absolutely. We're not talking to professional speakers or Toastmasters. Correct. So. Correct. Perez, thank you so much. You're very welcome. I'm going to put a link to this, to his speech below this video. Go watch. It's one of the best speeches I've ever seen. Change by a time. Very good. Thank, thank you, Mike. Thank you, my okay. friend.